Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Today I'm having a look at this uh, LED message board type thing. Basically you've got 64 red LEDs and it's all controlled by this Maxim Max 7219 driver chip. And there's a nice little board which I've picked up. I think I bought it from somewhere in Hong Kong for about two or three pounds. Very cheap. Uh, so let's plug it in and see if it works, shall we? It runs off SPI. Those of you who know the Raspberry Pi uh, port layout know that there's a couple of the SPI pins here and the chip select there and power. So basically you've got just five connections, three for SPI and two for power and ground. So let's zoom in and make it do something. The other thing to notice is that there's a there's another header at this end and it was the whole thing was a kit of parts but it only took about five or ten minutes to put together it was very straightforward but this header allows you to daisy chain more than one of them together which is quite useful so I found a, a library that some helpful chap called RM Hull had written uh, on github and I will flash up the uh, address for that in due course rather nice. I was quite pleased with it. It works really well and if you daisy chain two of them together they will display exactly the same thing at the same time. Now it may be that it's possible to connect more than one using different chip select ports on the Pi because you have got two chip select ports for the for the SPI but I have, haven't gone there yet. I will be trying that at some point though. Be rude not to. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like with two daisy chained together because I have got another one. So here's the other one. I'll just connect the two of them together. Quite a convenient four-way plug I've got on that one and a spare cable here. Great. Right. Now I'll try and put them in such a way that you can see them both without the wires getting in the way. Just start the program. And there you go. I'll hold that one. There are functions for vertical and horizontal scrolling. I haven't looked very deeply into this, but it would be nice to be able to do other things as well, even play little games and things like that on it. But what struck me about this was that they're so inexpensive and so actually relatively easy to use. Rather fun. This was Alex Eames for Raspi TV. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then you'll get notifications when we update with new videos. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or visit us at the Raspi TV blog.